Hello Kindle, this is Carson, and uh, you may be wondering why you're not seeing Tyler, and that's because he was busy, so they asked if I could help, and I decided to help. And uh, today I wanted to talk about pleasure versus true satisfaction, and I was wanting to read from Ecclesiastes 2.4 to 2.11, and starting at 2.4 it says, I made me great works, I builded me houses, I planted me vineyards. I made me gardens and orchards, and I planted trees in them of all kind of fruits. I made me pools of water, to water therewith the wood that bring forth trees. I got me servants and maidens, and had servants born in my house. Also I had great possessions of great and small, cattle above all that were in Jerusalem before me. I gathered me also silver and gold, and a peculiar treasure of kings, and of the provinces I got me men singers and women singers, and the lights of the sons of men as musical instruments, and that of all sorts. So I was great and increased more than all that were before me in Jerusalem, and also was my wisdom remained with me. And whatsoever mine eyes desired, I kept not from them. I withheld not my heart from any joy, for my heart rejoiced in all my labor, and this was my portion of all my labor. Then I looked on all the works that my hands had wrought, and on the labor that I had labored to do, and behold, all was vanity and vexation of spirit, and there was no spirit, no prophet under the sun. And what I believe this is saying is that he built all these things and gained all these people and items, but he still wasn't truly satisfied. You can gain all these worldly things and do what you want to do, but how does that help you in your walk with God? It doesn't. When you put these things, up, these other things in front of God, then you begin to be pulled away from him. And you can only be truly satisfied when you put God first and push everything else aside. And we need to have that daily walk with him so we can grow deeper in him. So today I challenge you to lay down your phone and whatever you may entertain yourself with. And pray knowing that God deserves more than what we entertain ourselves with. I hope this helped you today. And I hope you have a great day.